As the dawn painted the sky with hues of coral and gold, a coy man drawn by the whispers of the spirits embarked on the sacred journey from Table Mountain. His name, unspoken but itched in the winds, was carried with the echoes of the ancestral stories. In Kozana, the seeker of wisdom felt the call of the Cedarbrook Mountains, a place of spiritual significance intertwined with the legacy of his people. Guided by the cosmic dance of the light beings, Inkazana descended from the towering heights of Table Mountain. Lion's Head, his steadfast companion, watched over him as he ventured into the vast landscapes that cradled the secrets of the Koi ancestors. With each step, he felt the pulse of the land beneath his feet, a heartbeat that resonated with the ancient stories woven into the very fabric of the earth. As Inkazana approached the Cedarburg Mountains, the air changed, carrying fragrant whispers of Bultru and Rebos. The land transformed into a mosaic of unique rock formations and sacred canvas painted by the hands of the spirits. He sensed the presence of the giant god tree in the winds, a reminder that the spirits of the fallen tree still lingered. In Kozana, carrying his sacred tomb, ventured deeper into the Cedarburg Mountains. Guided by the subtle glow of the light beams, he discovered rock sites that told stories of creation, of resilience, and the eternal dance between the earthly and the divine. The spirits of the fallen tree seemed to echo through the paintings, inviting him to listen, learn and record the wisdom of the ancients. In a sheltered cave adorned with paintings of antelope and soaring birds, Ingzana felt a profound connection with the spirits. He gathered medicinal herbs, invoking the guidance of the light beings in each pluck and offering. The flora and fauna whispered their uses, revealing the seamless blend of practical and the sacred in the coy way of life. As the night draped in the mountains, in blankets of stars, in Gazana set up camp. Around the crackling fire, he performed rituals, learning at the foot of lion's head, acknowledging the spirits of the land and expressing gratitude for the knowledge bestowed upon him. The light beings danced in the moonlight, the luminescence intertwining with the stories in Inkozana's tomb. The next morning, the sun kissed the horizon. Inkozana felt a deep sense of fulfillment. The Cedarbrook Mountains, with their spiritual significance, had a new chapter in his quest for wisdom.